Shalom. Kolayim la Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rawr Chakwadash. Dub unto the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well, and as always, peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David that are scattered abroad. And um, I just wanted to do a lesson, you know, going into how this guy Elon Musk, you know, all of a sudden this uh, deal is going through with him actually buying Twitter, the Twitter app. You got a lot of dummies, a lot of these uh, people that are still in the dark, that are that have no clue, you know, what these, you know, super rich technocratic puppets are up to. You know, looking at this guy like a see some type of hero that's going to buy this uh, platform so that you can have your freedom of speech back. But, uh, you know, knowing how these uh, these globalist elites and, and these super rich puppets, you know, that, that stands as a face, you know, for their uh, wicked evil agendas, you know, we know how they get down as it is written. Let's say you should get an advantage of us, but we're not ignorant of his devices. But it's the same man, you know, who's uh, you know, who's pushing for a techni technocratic control o over the world. You know, he wants to put a bunch of satellite satellites in the sky, you know, so they they can you know have full uh, monitoring and, and surveillance over the, the the people, like in that movie Enemy of the State. You know, you wouldn't be able to have all this technology without all them sal satellites. All right. Um, he wants to put brain chips into people. He wants to merge the technology with, you know, the human body, the human flesh, you know, AI amalgamated with, you know, the physical. And all his agendas, everything that he wants to set forth is according, it's in, it's in the same plan of the World Economic Forum and in, in, in the, uh, the globalists, the rest of the globalists, is it's all part of the Great Reset. All right, so he's in on this whole agenda for the New World Order. He's he's there to help give life to the image of the beast. All right, and hey, the water Yahabashim Yahushai, you know, for giving us that eye soft man, call Lord Yahabashim Yahushai the water. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know Zad Nathan Lenawa, Ayan Lara Lara Ah. All right, he gave us that 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 the the ice off. All right, Ayan Shaman. All right, and 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 you know we can see through this devil. We can see through, you know his traps, his his pitfalls, his snares, man. Okay, and that's why the, the scriptures, you know, tell us to be vigilant, you know, be sober, keep your eyes open, be attentive. Because we know that this devil is he's going to come with it. All right, so this is from our Fox News. And this is, uh, you know, dealing with the report on Twitter, accepting the deal with uh, Elon Musk. And you already know what's going to come with this because, you know, a lot of people... This is going to bring everybody, you know, back to that platform, even those who, you know, were shadow banned, who who, who got kicked off. You know, now they're going to come back over on, on the Twitter. I hate Twitter. You know, I just, I, the, 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 the poisonous <laughs> ideologies that, that's, you know, shared on that platform every single day. You know, the type of crowds and it is, it, it I got tired of Twitter like over a decade ago. So I don't I, I never really messed with Twitter like that, but you see the people are happy that this go this dude is actually buying Twitter because you know you know Twitter as West uh, as as well as these other social media platforms that are heavy uh censored. You know, the only the only thing that can uh be posted on those platforms is whatever goes along with the controlled narrative. So now that 
he's buying Twitter is looking like he's being the hero. So these people have no clue. So I'm going to play the clip and then uh, I want to bring out some information regarding this guy. It's a lot is is you know apparent that most people don't even know who these 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 people are these these uh puppets this is the, his dude he's just a face all right he's a multi billionaire and you know the elites use these type of individuals now you don't even know these people's backgrounds their families their you know what families they go back to and you got to question it so anyway Let's uh, play it real fast. Well, here's some news for your Monday morning. Twitter is reportedly close to a deal to sell itself to Elon Musk, the social media giant taking another look at the tech billionaire's takeover bid after he lined up more than $46 billion to acquire the company and take it private. Kelly O'Grady from Fox Business, live in Los Angeles with more. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dana. Yeah, in a stark turn of events, Twitter is reportedly poised to accept Elon Musk's best and final offer of $54.20 per share. They're in the final stretch of negotiations, and a deal could happen within the next 24 hours. Now, the company was set to decline Musk's offer, even putting in place a poison pill to block him from increasing his stake. But after meeting with the billionaire yesterday and after pressure from Twitter shareholders to take the deal, the board was running out of options. Elon Musk announcing last week that he secured over $46 billion to finance the deal and even meeting privately with shareholders to convince them to back him, that obviously puts some pre uh, Twitter under a lot of pressure. Now, what shareholders are willing to accept, though, depends on their investment strategy. We spoke to a number of short-term investors this weekend, and the prevailing theme was they want Twitter to take the current deal. A few shared a complete lack of confidence in new CEO Parag Agarwal and noted the stock had been dropping until Elon made his announcement. Longer-term investors, however, think the offer undervalues the company. Now, Twitter is certainly performing their own valuation right now so they can justify to Elon and shareholders what the company's worth. One snack, even if a deal goes through, centers on Musk's trouble with the SEC. If Twitter establishes that a sale to Musk would be risky, it could ask for a sizable fee in the case the deal falls through. But no agreement yet, Dana. One thing I want to keep watch on is what happens with the stock price. Okay, It's already inching closer to Musk's 5420 offer in pre-market trading, over $51. That could complicate matters. We won't have to wait long, though. The company reports earnings on Thursday and could address the bid as early as today. Kelly O'Grady, um, everybody's watching this story. You'll be busy today. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to Brian kill me. So you see these people, you know, they seem like they're happy about that move. But they don't know that there's a further agenda. All right, dealing with what, what they got going. This is all about technocracy. All right. This is all about that great reset that they're uh, implementing. And before you know it, you're going to have to, um, they're going to require you. If you want to get on these platforms, you, it's going to be required for you to be basically um, to, to take away the uh, anonymity. You're going to have to uh, have some type of uh, digital um, identification. It's going to become a requirement throughout all these different. Uh, media platforms or even to be on the internet period they're they're going to make it to where you're going to have to be identified all right you're not going to just be able to freely be on the internet and lurk and and, and you know post information this is what they're doing worldwide it's not going to be any different so you think that he's buying out twitter so that you can have your freedom of speech again you better think again all right there's always something to their methods that's why the scriptures say put on the whole arm of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right you have no you have no idea this is all part of the technocratic setup where they're going to further put you into a, a, a technocratic dictatorship. You're going to go into digital slavery, a digital prison. That's what they're designing for you, you dummies. All right.
So I want to just go to this real quick. Cause I stumbled, I stumbled across this. Somebody I shared this link. And it pretty much exposes this guy. In the media, he's he's such a superhero. You know, he's worth billions of dollars. You know, he's you know making all these investments into this new technocratic world. You know. He wants to, you know, put chips in everybody and 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 perform miracles, you know, through the MOTB. But, you know, look at this guy's background. He's part of he's part of them. All right, it says Elon Musk is the grandson of a small hat Canadian leader of the techno te te technocracy movement, openly backed by Masons and the Rockefellers. So you know it can't be any good. If he if, if his family is tied in with the Rockefellers, which are basically the, the, the one of the top super rich international banking families. Right, right behind the uh, Rothschilds. Right, these are the, the rich that prosper in the world. It, tell, it talks about that in the scriptures. Was that Psalms, uh, the 73rd chapter? These are these are the ungodly that 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 prosper. And they and they they have the wealth to make these plans and carry them out because it is in the power of their hand. Micah two and one. Woe to woe to them that that work evil upon their beds. Let me get that. Because they're acting like you know, this just happened to just come by choice that you know Elon just decided to you know I want to I want to buy Twitter. Now this shit was already in the works, man. But they're acting like it just it just came about and you know they had second thoughts on the offer but they were thinking about it and then they just they're trying to come up with a decision the same way they talking about um you know the digital uh dollar you know it's just in the talks right now you know we're entertaining the idea of it no it's already in the plans that's what he's asked exactly what you're gonna do you ain't fooling nobody man all right. Everything is going to be interconnected on a digital uh, global digital database. This is all part of that digital uh, slaves control system that, that these devils are setting up. And that's all part of the image of the beast. All right. So real quick. um, I forgot what scripture I, <laughs> me rambling. I forgot what scripture I was uh, getting ready to go to. But uh, matter of fact, let me get let me get Ephesians six real fast. It is uh, Ephesians six and eleven. It says, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Man, meaning you know his 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 methods, his strategies, and we know that the devil, you know, he has to uh, disguise himself as an angel of light, you know, to, to make it seem like he's a, a, a harbinger of, of salvation, you know, somebody that's here to do you good, even though he's really here to, to, to you know, do wickedness. That's why it says in, a, in the Apocrypha, if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly, but at the end, he will declare his wickedness. That's why you can never trust him. The devil knows how to dis. uh, the symbol he knows how to disguise himself. All right, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and that's what we're up against. All right, now the scripture just came back to mind Micah 2. That was where I was supposed to go. Micah 2, verse 1. And it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right. And that's, you know, these uh, globalist, super rich international banking families that fund all these corporations and governments. That's how they're able to carry out their agendas. Because it is in the power of their hand. They have the military. They have extreme wealth. They're trillionaires, man. 
And then they send these billionaire puppets, you know, who, who, who represent their agenda. And, you know, they go out there and they play a role. And Elon Musk, he's one of them. He's just playing a role. Bill Gates is another one. They all are playing a role. They're puppets. They're just faces for the New World Order uh, international banking families, man. The globalists. All right. So, you know, you can look at some of these screenshots. <clears throat> you got his grandfather, and, you know, they all go back to uh, Amalek, the, the small hats. This is the reason why they got so much power, man. But yet, these, these same people, all right, they didn't con the whole world into believing that they're the Lord's chosen people. But all of, all of them that are at the top, all all of them, they all are in on a, a, a wicked agenda. Look what they're doing to the, the planet Earth. All right? They're pushing that green energy agenda. That's what this whole Ukraine thing is about. Okay? Get rid of uh, fossil fuel energy, and they want to do it with, with, with the solar energy. You know, because they want to hoard up all the natural resources to themselves because they're, they're they're, their greed is very insatiable. Okay? So it's all about dominant control with these people. So uh, you see this flashing right here, man. This is Elon Musk's uh, mother. He said, Elon Musk's mother called. She said, too many people are still lazy about doing their own research. Hmm. It's all about technocracy. Basically, AI is going to basically control and run the world. It's going to take over your mind. They want to download your mind onto uh, the database. You know, turn you into a, a humanoid. That's what this is all about. This is going into this man's history, his his his, his uh family history. It says uh Dr. Scott Heldeman is a board certified neurologist in active clinical practice in Santa Ana, California. He currently is a distinguished professor at the University of California, the chairman of the research council for the World Federation of Chiropractic and founder president of World Spine Care. Accomplished in his own right, he also happens to be the uncle of one of the world's great innovators, Elon Musk. Read how the young Musk spent time on the Hildeman family farm in Saska, uh, Saskatchewan. Both Scott's father and his grandmother, Musk's great-grandmother, were chiropractors. In fact, Almeida Hildeman became Canada's first known chiropractor in the early 1900s. So, you know, I, got, I guess that's where they got their start. Dealing with uh, being chiropractors. And you scroll down and look at this. Dr. Heldeman also earned a place in the political history of Canada, owning it's like you're owing to his service as research director for Tech Technocracy Inc. of Canada, his national chairmanship of the Social Credit Party during the Second World War, and his unsuccessful bid for the national parliament. His vocal opposition to communism during the war briefly landed him in jail in his 1950 relocation of his family and practice to Pretoria, South Africa would open a new page in his career, once again as professional pioneer, but also an avatar and explorer. It says, uh, it's like a, a viator and explorer. Although he died in 1974, the values he instilled in his son, Scott Helderman, DC, PhD, MD, continue to influence the profession. 
So they have a trace of history going into the technocratic field, introducing Technocracy Inc. and their trilateral commission connection. So he's tying in with, with the elite. Says Technocracy Inc. defines itself as a nonprofit membership organization incorporated under the laws of the state of New York. It is continental organization. It is a it is not a financial racket or a political party. Technocracy Inc. operates only on the North American continent through a structure of its own continental headquarters, area controls, regional division sections, and organizers of it as a self-disciplined self-controlled organization it has no affiliations with any other organization movement or association whether in north america or elsewhere technocracy points points out that this continent has the natural resources and this is where you have silicon valley and all that other stuff it says <clears throat> Technocracy points out that this continent has the natural resources, the physical equipment, and the trained personnel to produce and distribute an abundance. Technocracy finds that the production and distribution of an abundance of physical wealth on a con continental scale for the use of all continental citizens can only be accomplished by continental techn technological control. A governance, all right? which, you know, we know government means mind control, of function, a technique. Technocracy declares that this continent has a rendezvous with destiny, that this continent must decide between abundance and chaos within the next few years. Technocracy realizes that this decision must be made by a mass movement of North Americans trained and self-disciplined, capable of operating a technological mechanism of production and distribution on the continent when the present price system becomes impotent it's like you're impotent to operate technocracy inc is notifying every in intelligent and courageous north american that his future tomorrow rests on what he does today technocracy offers the specific specifications and the blueprints of continental physical operations for the production of abundance for every citizen. All right. So, you know, this was always in the works. This was always in the plans. And they need, you know, a group of, uh, you know, specialists and, you know, intelligent people that are learned and studied into this field. And we know that we being in that time where knowledge is being increased according to daniel 12 you know now you know we see an advancement of the technology but esau is going to use it for left-hand purposes all right the lord you know put it into this devil to develop it so that for one this technology will be actually used to forward the word to to, to get the gospel out to the four corners of the earth but on the left-hand side he wants to give life to the image of the beast. All right. That can uh, do pseudo miracles and, and so on and so forth. All right. Was that uh, Second Thessalonians 2? It tell you that his power would, would come after the working of uh, Satan. So Satan on the left hand side, you know, is giving them these ideas. This is uh, Second Thessalonians 2. And I'll start at verse um, 7. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work, and only he who now let up will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Meaning he's constantly being exposed and 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 you know, basically, you know, his, the, that image that he's actually uh, giving life to, that he's trying to make everybody worship, you know, through these prophecies, through this word, we're actually breaking it down. So he's being consumed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. All right. And shall, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. I Meaning the Lord's going to come. All right. During his return, he's going to destroy this devil, destroy this beast. 
It says, even him who's coming is after the working, or the, the, ener the energy of Shatan, the adversary, with all power and signs and lying wonders, pseudo miracles. And this is what's gonna this is what's causing the people to wander after the, the beast. All right, they're deceived by his left hand power. Because he's coming like he's about to save the, the, the world, the planet. With all these uh developmental, you know, sustainable developmental goals. But he's 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 lying, he's deceiving you. He's putting you right in the captivity. All right. He wants to be your God, your Lord. And his technology is going to do the ruling for him. All right, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. You know, these people are believing in a, in a lie. All right, so they're going to be greatly deceived. They're deceived by his t uh, the, the the power that he has through his technology and his uh, pseudosciences, his uh, pharmacia, which is his sorcery. Okay. And, you know, we're giving you the truth so that you can be delivered out of the, the hands of this devil, this beast. But our people that are not right, they don't want to be saved. Because they hate the truth. It says, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. All right. So a lot of our people, they're going to, you know, they believe this devil, man. They like what they see. They like what they're hearing. And, you know, Jake, hop on the trend every time there's some there's some new uh, technology. New iPhone, new smartphone. You know, you got the uh, virtual reality with the metaverse. So they're going to be wrapped up in all this crap, man. All right. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. All right. So, you know, this is all, you know, pretty much part of the secret counsel of the wicked. And it tells you that. In Psalms, the 64th chapter, that they were set snares. Psalm 64 and verse 5, it says, They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, Who shall see them? They search out iniquity. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. And we know the scriptures say that thou are wiser than Daniel. There's no secret that they could keep from thee. So, you know, to build this technocracy up, you got to have a bunch of intelligent, learned people that know that that understand, you know, how to how technology works, how to, and also they got a background in um, neurology, so they know how to mind work too. All right. It ain't a co coincidence that he he wants to bring forth uh, brain chips because they want full control over your mind. And what does it say in reference to the MOTB that is going to go in either in your forehead or in your hand? So if you think this dude that's pushing the MOTB and it's pushing for transhumanism has your best interests, then you wouldn't get all happy that <laughs> he, he's, he's taking over uh, Twitter. And that's if you're a, a user of Twitter, because you already know it's going to come with, with, with some, some stipulations. But these people, they're, they're, not, they're not bright. They're, they're, hey, they're in darkness, as the scriptures say. The, the, the world is in gross darkness. Gross darkness covers the people. But we have that eye soft. The Lord, you know, gave us the eyes to see. So this devil can't have a one up on the Lord's elect. All right. So, hey, now is the time to awake out of sleep, man. All right, now it's time to be, uh, you know, 
be be sober, be vigilant, be circumspect. So, you know, I, I just wanted to do a, a response lesson to this, you know, dealing with, you know, this whole Twitter thing. This is basically what they're going to be talking about, you know, for, for a bit. And a lot of people thinking that this is part of them, you know, getting some some form of freedom back. And they think that this Elon Musk dude is a hero. You know, but, you know, when you're a rich dude and you got it like that, you know, people, they're going to they're going to uh, admire you anyway. So anyway, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to close out with that. And uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. We give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. And to the next lesson, Shalom.